So what's the deal with coconuts? What's the difference between a coconut, coconut milk, cream of coconut, coconut cream, and what do you use inside of a cocktail or a drink? Now this is a young, fresh coconut, and inside of it is coconut water. And this is something that we don't use often in cocktails. And uh, to be honest, these ones from Costco, I think they taste pretty bad, but you can cut this open and that's coconut water. You're probably familiar with coconut water as well from the grocery store in a carton. There are some more modern cocktails that might call for coconut water, but typically your old and historic drinks aren't calling for coconut water as coconut water was not easily available in the grocery stores back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Now the most common variety is coconut milk, and this is something that's pretty much on the grocery store shelves all the time. And this is often called for in cocktails. It'll usually say coconut milk. It's something people cook with often, and depending on the temperature of the room you're in, you might find that the top quarter of it is solid, uh, the fats inside solidify. If you're using it in a cocktail, you wanna make sure that you get everything mixed together. You can try shaking it, but usually you need to open it up, put it in another bowl and stir or whisk it. Now the confusion I think happens, and, and I'm guilty of this as well, what's coconut cream versus cream coconut? Well, coconut cream is this one right here, comes in a can and it is very similar to coconut milk, except there is more fat. Now, both of these are made by taking the flesh that white flesh from the inside of a coconut and then blending it with water. This has a higher fat content than the coconut milk. So if you're thinking about this in terms of a dairy product, this would be more like a half and half and this would be like a heavy cream. Now I can't think of any cocktails that actually call for coconut cream. Now, that's where things get confusing. Coconut cream versus cream of coconut. So you see coconut cream, they're probably not referring to that and they're probably referring to one of these two over here. Now we're talking about cocktails, we're usually talking about cream of coconut and I'm guilty as well of saying coconut cream when I mean cream of coconut. These are coconut milk with sugar. The two ones you see the most called for would be Coco Lopez or Real cream of coconut. So for the sake of what we're talking about right now, let's just set these aside and talk about these two. So you can find these at bottle shops. Um, they sell these at Total Wine. What I like about Coca Lopez is it's in a can, so I can just store it away when I need it. It's available to me. And this one as well, it is um, shelf stable when not opened. Now we'll do a taste test between these two and you can also make your own cream of coconut at home by taking a can of coconut milk like this and adding equal parts of a two to one simple syrup. If you dumped out this can into a bowl or container and you added equal parts of a two to one simple syrup, you would then have your own homemade cream of coconut and it would taste very similar to Coco Lopez and Real. So to give you an example, this is just straight coconut milk, just out of the can. You can see that the fat here is sort of solidified. And if you were to take this and mix it with a two to one simple syrup, you'd have something that looks like this. Now, while I like making my own, the coconut milk I'm using is pretty gritty and that fat is not sort of melting into the syrup. I think you could put this on your stovetop. That requires some more work. And even so, this is not always the easiest thing to do because you have to have coconut milk on hand and you have to have simple syrup. But I try to keep that on hand in case I don't have one of these two. I can always go to make my own cream of coconut easily. So the difference between Coca Lopez and Real is pretty noticeable. Coco Lopez has a little bit of a reddish tint to it. Um, it's especially more when it's solidified at the top of the can. It is not nearly as smooth as the Real. Now it is canned and I don't know if maybe it's like a mental block for me because I think about how it's canned and how it is pasteurized, but I have to imagine the Real one is pasteurized as well. Because of that, I think maybe I tricking myself into thinking that there's like a little bit of a more of a cooked taste to it. The sugar content on these are almost identical, so they're gonna have about the same sweetness. The Real is a lot thicker. It's a more consistent um, texture to it. And in the past, just unknowingly, I would have always said to choose Coco Lopez. I've had Real in the past. It's just one of those ingredients, I think, because it is so sweetened that you put it in your refrigerator and you kind of forget about it. And after a year, you toss it and because so many resorts use this to make their pina coladas, which are just overly sweet and not very good cocktails. I've always shied away from it until now. I think it's a little bit better. 
Now for both of these, the first ingredient is coconut, second ingredient is sugar. They both have stabilizers and, and gums in them to keep them consistent. I just think the Real has a little deeper coconut flavor. So if I just had to choose one really, I, I do like this one better. I just think it's a little bit better. But as I say with everything, put it in a cocktail first, maybe do a taste test if you have both. See if you can tell the difference. You probably can't once they're in a full cocktail, but I like the consistency here. I like that it stays emulsified. Now, it, I should say it does kind of separate. If you don't shake it, when you open it, you'll get some thinner sort of liquid that comes out of it, kind of oily liquid. So you do need to shake it but it does stay more emulsified than the Coca Lopez. And I don't know, I just think it's a little bit better, just like a little bit better. And if you're one of the people out there that says these things taste like sunscreen, why are you eating sunscreen? I have no idea what sunscreen tastes like. I know what it smells like. It smells like this, it smells like it's trying to smell like coconut. These taste like coconut in the best way possible, not sunscreen, so I don't know. That's it for this one. I'm Derek, this is Making Drink. If you enjoyed this video about coconuts, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna check out some cocktails you can use this cream of coconut in, check out these ones right here. See you in the next one.